Hello everyone, Mr. Storkin here. Welcome back to um, Pokemon Violet. I can't believe I almost called it Scarlet for a minute. But the new DLC has officially launched the Indigo Disc. I do apologize if I am a bit sick. I haven't eaten over a cold the last couple of days. But hopefully we can just go through and enjoy the Indigo Disc, the new DLC. So let's, sit, let's get started. Ro Tom. This is Clavel. Do I have the pleasure of speaking with Mr. In Master Indigo? I should have said, yeah, that's me. My, my. It's certainly... It certainly does his old hawk good to be, be grieved with such a lively response. Now, you could pick a moment, but a moment of your time. There's something we must discuss. Master Nigo, you're about to be presented with exceptional opportunity. You already know you know his region, Blueberry Academy, I presume. Yeah, of course, because we knew about it last time. And hopefully we're going to get you no remakes this next year. I'm counting on it. Indeed, tales of your school trip to Kitagami with the Blueberry cohort reached even my office. In any case, the director of the Blueberry Academy happens to be an old friend of mine. He told me that he would uh, be delighted to host you as an exchange student at his school. I believe it would be a fine chance for you to learn more, even more about the world. One should always take advantage of new challenges like this, don't you think? Though, I must confess, I was a bit surprised that Blueberry's director was, would specify you by name. Still, I think it, it'd be best that you meet the man at least once. To find out what he might be thinking. He is admittedly a bit of a character, but not to worry. <laughs> I'll be there with when you meet him. Once you feel ready, res ready to respond to this officer, I ask that you take the time to come by my office so we can discuss the specifics together. Now, I won't take much more of your time. Do take care until we speak again. So yeah, we are starting off the DLC, and I got this new outfit <laughs> for Indigo. I thought it was awesome. Um, I'm going to keep it for the time. I, mean, I, I know they're going to probably give us a new outfit for the Blueberry Academy, but I like the outfit. So yeah, I'm looking forward to playing the Indigo Disc. Um, it is the last DLC, and I'm going to record it as much as I can within the period of time. One moment. I'll check in my storage real fast, and I was like, how much storage do I have? I'm like, I have enough to do what I want to do. Because I deleted a bunch of my stuff. But anywho... I hope everyone's doing okay. I know I need to work on thumbnails, and I do apologize about that, but I'm going to try and work on that tonight while this whole thing just uploads. Um, but, you yeah, know, let's get to it. Um, we're going to head on top of the Blueberry Academy and see what they got to tell us about. I'm not actually the Yuba Academy to talk about going over to the Blueberry Academy. Man, words, they be hard. <laughs> Am I right? But, you know, we do have a lot of content planned. Um, probably up to the end of the year, I do plan on taking... Christmas off just because people are going to be like, we don't want your content on that day. And I'll be like, ha ha, makes sense. But anywho, let's see what's going on. Oh wow, that is stylish as heck. Hmm? But who do we have here? Oh, I know, I've seen that face somewhere before. Who are you again? The name's Indigo. It's just basically the same sentence. Oh, that's right, you're Indigo. Yes, yes, I know you. Well then, now that you're here, let's keep going. Wait! Wait just a moment, Director Cyrano! Oh, like the bird drag. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Oh, hello there, Valley. It's a lot. You're as lively as always. Didn't even realize you were there. Of course I'm here. As the director of this academy, where else would I be? What's with that weird glitch going on? And you dress me properly while the students are present, would you? That's a weird glitch going on over there. And more importantly, what are you doing here? I thought we had agreed to meet in my office. Did we? I must have slipped my mind. Anyway, what's it matter? This is a stu the student, right? With a weird haircut. Well, y yes, he is, but... I do apologize, Master Indigo. You must be terribly confused. This is Director Cierno of the Blueberry Academy. As I mentioned on the phone, he's interested in you accepting you as an exchange student. Yep, that's me, Director Cyrano. Or did I not mention that? One look at your young friend here makes me suspect you indeed failed to clarify that point. Speaking of which, did you request Master Indigo specifically to take part in your exchange program? Excellent question, Belly. It's quite simple. You see, the reason is. Okay, why is he doing his hat? Um, why did. You Wait, uh, see, this is, uh, um, what did I put in the request? Oh, because he forgot. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's right. The school's trip in Ketchikan, Indigo met some of my students there. 
lived in here, like here in, in the crazy one. Actually, I'm, I'm going to see, oh, Carmi, I forgot her name, sorry. Yes, yes, one of them was named Carmi, I believe. She's the one who recommended you. Now that I've gotten to meet you for myself, yeah, I've got a good feeling about you. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Director Cla Cyrano. I almost call him Clavico. Clavico. Like, I'm. I'd just love for you to visit my school. Would you take a? Would you take a breath of fresh air, so to speak? Well, if anything can be said about Director Cyrano, is that he has a keen eye for talent. I would be thrilled if you went to Blueberry Academy and got to know the students there. But only if you're willing to, of course. Think of a chance to further expand on your treasure hunt. Oh yeah, we're still doing that whole thing, even though we ended a while ago. I wish I could accompany Massey in there, go, but I'm afraid I must ask you to watch overhead in my steed. Sorry, head belt. You will watch overhead, won't you? <laughs> of course. I'd let I wouldn't let every I wouldn't I blah 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 words, MH. I never let anything happen to one of your students. I hope you this experience leads you to even more than you can treasure. Best of luck to you. I should try and give them more voices like I did last time. Hello, Sidex is chilling in the corner right there. That's great. Just give me a holler whenever you're ready to head to the Blueberry Academy. I'm trying to give him like a, uh, I don't know why, but I'm trying to give him like a um, Keith David voice. I think that works for him. Are you ready to kick off your studies abroad at the Blueberry Academy? Yeah, and that stylist outfit. I hope we get that. I don't know why. I like the hat. Great. Then let's get going. Again, trying to go for a key David impersonation. I don't know if I'll fail or succeed, but I'll only find out. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah, I'm right. They're traveling on a little airplane there. It's nice. Ta-da, we're here. It actually looks kind of nice, very futuristic. Welcome to the Blueberry Academy. And he has a nice little uh, Torchic. I don't really use Torchic, so I'd be curious to use one. This is actually just the entrance. The school itself is boasted in the water. Isn't that amazing? So like a weird Atlantis version, okay. Oh, and did you notice? Look at the bl the how blue the place is. I can't tell you how... Long I spent picking the perfect blueberry color. Uh, terminology, but okay. Let's see, what else? <laughs> oh, perhaps you have something you'd like to ask me. Um, I'm gonna go with the blueberry one. Because it's underwater? Really? That's what you're curious about? Well, it's very simple. You see, it's all. Uh, because the indigo of the indigo flowers, the blueberry you said to represent a fruitful life. I think that's where it comes from, right? Right, exactly. It took the words right out of my mouth. Uh, the Always on point, aren't you, Lacey? Oh. Oh, no, it was nothing. Wha Those are some cool hair clips, I'm not going to lie. Um, do we have a guest today? We do. Indigo is here, part of the exchange program. Make him feel welcome, huh? Hold on. This is, exchange is this an exchange student from pa the Palbea region? I suppose I'd introduce myself. I suppose I uh, I suppose I didn't introduce myself. I'm lazy. One of the second year students here. You must be really something special, you know? It's rare for Director Sirino to remember the name of a new student. <laughs> Just call me out, why don't you? Actually, I've got an idea. Why don't you explain how things work around here, Lacey? Y y you want me to do it? Well, yeah, you know, it's a tour guide stuff isn't my strong suit. Well, that's certainly true, but still, I imagine there must be someone more suitable than me. Huh? Oh, please. D don't take it like it's not what I want wanted to show you around or say anything. Director Sirino said he just had a bad habit of pushing his duties onto me, you see. Uh, and it's, it's just not right. Really, lady habits today, aren't you? That said, this might be my chance to get to know the new student everyone's talking about before anyone else can, so we can pummel him in a battle. That decides it. 
I'll take on the task. Excellent. Now then, let's head straight down the bridge. In the entrance, on you go. Okay, so let's take a look around the school. Um, head to the entrance. Okay, I see a bell awesome, cool, and um, magmar. Okay, not my favorite Pokemon, but oh, there's a battlefield in this area. This could be awesome. Are we gonna be like directly introduced to a battle here? I have my team ready. I brought Skeldridge over because Skeldridge is 95. I don't know why I didn't bring my Torterra over. Just to see how much level up we can get. This is the entrance to the Blueberry Academy. Our school puts a great deal of emphasis on the arts of Pokemon battling. We hold official matches on the central court right here at the entrance. And any student can freely utilize this court it's n if it's not otherwise in use. I think it's safe to say that we're battling more he here than any other school. Exactly. Couldn't have said it better myself. Director Cyrano, I think perhaps it's... If, uh, I think it's fine if you just lead me the tw toward me. Still, it's really relaxing here with the sea breeze blowing over you. Even when no one is battling, you often see students lazily about in the stands. Okay, <laughs> wait, wait, family. Yeah. Oh, oh, and there's one air quality of our school I think you'll find really surprising. Wild Pokemon sometimes harassed here. Really? It happens that in Paldea, too. Oh, I su suppose that's nothing special to someone in Paldea, is it? Nope. The terrestrial phenomenon was discovered in the Paldea region, after all. But we've taken ste a, s a step further than you, uh, at your terror orbs. We developed something unique to text ourselves, something that has control to the phenomenon, our own turf. I bet it piques your interest, doesn't it? Yes, it's probably the thing you have hidden underneath, like every villain base says. Um, sir, I think it'd be easier to understand how all that works after we go to the lower level. If you could put a little pin in that thought. Always thinking ahead, that's our lacy. Oh, and you know what? I think it'd be great if you two had a battle. What? What? Right now? Why not? I'd like to see what Ingo is here is capable of. Now, Lacey is a member of the Elite Four in the po League in the Pokemon League Cub. Um, cool. That's interesting. They have Elite Four that was mentioned earlier in the press stuff. Uh, we're gonna have here. Just saying nothing of the influence of her father. What do you know was uh, regions fame Jimmy's. Oh, who is it? Um, I bet you'll learn a thing, too. I, I want to know, who's the father? Oh. I wish you wouldn't, um, wouldn't go around spreading any personal information without me asking you first. It's just not right. I like how she did a little X with her hot hands. Give me, this sh um, give me a second to sh uh, show now, you two. I'm sorry, but there's no Yoshi with Director Cyrano. Once he gets his head in the head, there's no way he'll move on with the tour until we've um, given him his battle. Besides, I have to admit, I'm a little excited... Excited at my chance to value. Likewise, I want to see what Pokemon you have. Maybe we can guess who your uh, gym leader father is. Here at Blueberry Academy, we tend to go for double battles. Let's give um, give a try to get to know each other a little better. Okay. Bump. Let's get to work. I, I'm going to guess it's um, the bug guy, if I had to guess. I'm going to guess it's the bug guy. Plus an old mine. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. I have loops here. That's great. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, I suppose I'll be raising Blueberry Academy in the battle. I will try not to disappoint. Okay. Okay. You actually have really decent level Pokemon. A fossil and mining. I'm okay doing Skeletor against you, and I'm actually okay. Uh, I'm going to use Mega Horn, I think, on Fussel. I know that's the silly thing to do, but the electric won't affect it as much. Or did I end up attacking the same Pokemon? <laughs> that Fire Flash just annihilated them, and that's quite a harsh blow. Let's see. Now, should I turn this around? It's fainted. I don't know how else you're going to turn that around. We're still keeping the Skeletors there, even though power. Oh, Grass Knot. That's going to do a lot, actually. I'm impressed you have that move. But I got poison point, so you can take it. <laughs> I don't know. I want some really, but you can take it. I wonder how much Mega Horn is actually going to affect it. I'm not expecting a whole lot. Yeah. It was not, but it's poison, too. If I was flying, like if I had um, Nicola there, it would definitely be. Um, was, wait. Looks like my plus mi minus strategy isn't working. Guess it's time to uh, go out on all strength. Okay. Exit drill. Hmm. Interesting. 
You are steel and ground, if I remember correctly. I don't really have a lot of water type Pokemon. It's something I need to work on, but mm, I'm gonna do Earthquake. I know that's a silly move to do. Extra sweet. Let's shake them to their core. Okay. I'll uh, call it uh, sweet. Maybe clay? Um. Oh no. Fire Blast. Why did it avoid? I actually wasn't reading that because I was like, maybe clay. Because Clay has an extra drill. Oh, would you look at that? Go right after those tight weaknesses with precision, don't you? I did, and it worked out pretty well. You must be good for having a steel type against a fire type Pokemon. Uh, Pulse use discharge. Oh, it doesn't affect whoops. That's good. It, even though it affected whoops. We're just going to do the Earthquake because that's the easiest way to victory there. And it, it's super effective on a Skeldridge, but it took down Plusle. I'd say it won't have any effect on Plusle, but okay. We did win, and good job, whoops. Oh yeah, I forgot Godzilla was in our team. I don't know why. I really don't know. But, anywho. <laughs> well, you beat me, sadly. Uh, again, I don't know why I have Godzilla. I forgot I had Godzilla in there on my team. Two of my favorites, actually, but yeah. Spectacular, you're quite skilled. I wish I could have um, seen you terrestrialize one of your Pokemon, though. I'd love to see how someone from Patal Pataldea does it. I'm sorry, I didn't think of doing it, because I'm just like, oh, it didn't seem like it would work. At the... Students here at the Boob Academy were only recently issued Terra Orb, so I hope you'll be able to teach us more about them. Well said. Well then, both of you, you really battled it out in out blueberry style. Speaking of style, I forgot you had a, I had a uniform for you. You feel like you're fit right here as soon as you're dressed in the pot. I kind of like my outfit because it's like a kimono. But let's see how that. Oh, okay, that looks awesome. I feel like a sailor. It suits you beautifully. I like the backpack, too. I think that may have been my original backpack. I don't know. I heard that at the time. Now, that's why I call fashion. Oh, and you can take this as well. Indigo style card. Oh, that's getting you new shopping stuff. Okay, yeah. Um, that should give you a few more options when you visit the shops and saloons here in Paldea. I'd be curious to see what new hairstyles there are. I can lie. Now that you look at the park and hopefully feel it, too, why don't we head into the school? Sorry. Again, yeah, I'm feeling peachy. Um, you can, um, you can pick where you want to go from the gates over there. Come on, I'll show you the pride of, the, of uh, Blueberry Academy, our fam our world famous terrarium. I'm actually am curious about the terrarium because there is, um, that is where you can access um, Star Pokemon. Star Pokemon are found in the wild in this game. I'm so excited because I can probably get a Swampert. But that may get rid of whoops in my competitiveness. But it's just like I'm really lacking water type Pokemon in my team. And it's totally something I want to add. But let's see what the Terrarium is like. I'm extremely optimistic. I'm worried that there's a side quest where I have to catch 600 of the Pokemon. But let's head into the ter Terrarium. It's pretty. This is it. The park beneath the sea has gained renown, renown around the world. Our very own terrarium. We may be underwater, but our projector is built um, built into the wall. So it make it feel like we're actually outside, don't they? Yeah, it's like stagecraft that they use for the Mandalorian. I love that snowy area there. We've been able to create a comfortable environment for Pokemon 3 technology. I designed it all myself. And believe me, it wasn't cheap. Within this dome, there are four distinct biomes, okay? We have a nice and toasty subtropical savanna biome, okay? So basically the Savari Dome. Here, right, we have the breezy coastal biome. That's where you're going to find a lot of water type Pokemon. Uh, further out, you see, we have the Kagi Crunchy Rugged Biome. Maybe some Turtwigs there, I don't know. Oh, this is going to be helpful. This glitching a lot. But last but not least, way out in the distance, we have the Arctic Snowy Polar Biome. Cool, I'm really looking forward to exploring this. Each biome air temperature and humidity levels are regulated with the utmost care. Um, that's why you'll find completely different Pokemon species living in each area. Cool. We should put a lot of we sure put a lot of effort into it. Tell me, Indigo, which biome takes your fancy off the bat? Oh, I'm going for the polar biome. Oh, so you like it cold, do you? I'm not very good with cold myself, but ice type Pokemon can be awfully cute. I concur. There's some great Wolverine would be a great one. Is Wolverine included in this one? Oh, um, 
If you need help your Pokemon while you're down here, you're free to use the self-serve healing machines we can install around the Terrarium. Now then, Director Cyrano. Can you sp I need to make a girl voice for like the air ones. Can you explain why crystals form here and why the Bill Pokemon are able to terrestrialize? I think that fits her. I don't know why. Ah. Uh, but don't you already know, Lazy? That's... Oh, I get it. You want me to do the talking. In that case, let me show you the reason is actually right above our heads. I'm trying to give them voices. This is the Terrarium Core, which pr presides um, all over the ha that happens in the Terrarium. It contains the, the fluid that we're jam-packed full of a special material from Paldea. It constantly emitting terrestrial energy. That's that allows Pokemon to terrestrialize in the dome. Wonderful. Well said, sir. That's exactly right. French makers sound like Daphne, but a little bit. Though I still don't know what this special material is within the terrarium core itself. It's never shared publicly. Ha it's never shared publicly, has it? Oh, ho, ho, you want to know. Well, in fact, it's... It's... Now I can't remember. It's these Alzheimer's. Now, what was it? I've plum forgotten. Briar pull... Pull... Uh, put all of it together, so I'm serving myself. Well, what I told, what I thought you might say, bing bong bing. <laughs> I shouldn't have even said anything because it would read itself. Partial battle class will commute shortly in the coastal biome. Students participating in this class would make their way to the coastal biome now. Oh cool, looks like you, you're just in time to see a class session now. I'm actually curious. Now this is a good chance to pass up. Won't you be joining us in the go? You can have your first taste of our school's classes. Sure. I want to see kind of like the new teachers they have around here. See, that's the soul of passion for education. I see pear in there, so yeah. I'll go ahead and register the terrarium out to your Rhino phone for you. I love that phone case. She is probably a farrier poison type train. Oh, she Roxy's daughter. That'd be interesting. It'd be fun to take a stroll through the terrarium on your own. And I'd be more of a hassle than anything if you were, if I was holding you holding your hand. Yep, that sounds it. Please find your way to the class site in the coastal biome on your own. Well, doesn't it seem like I'm needed here? Wait, sir, you don't... But I've made sure that the dorm room has been all set up for you, Indigo. So don't forget to give it a visit later. Oh yes, and one more thing. Could you open your Pokedex app for me? What's with your phone cases? I forgot what mine was. I think mine was the Arceus one. The very Pokemon has been at. I want to see what Pokemon are maybe listed there, what I have so far. Catch as many Pokemon as you as here in the terrarium as you please. Don't be afraid to go Sawsbuck Wild. Sawsbuck is a great grass type Pokemon. I don't know why people hate as much. If you are still in life here at Blueberry Academy, so remember to live it up to the fullest. And there he goes. Well, you can at least count on one. Um, you can at least count on me to be around here when you need me. So there's no call for concern, and probably we'll both. We time we very probably both head to class. I'll be waiting for you to join us in the coastal biome. And I see Perrin there, and I know Perrin's gonna like do her request, so I'm not gonna start yet. Even though it's gonna be like you should start, so you know how many Pokemon to catch. And he's like, you're probably right. But it's nice to see Perrin again. It's, it's good to know they kept on with the DLC mission about that. I'm gonna quickly explore. I know that's like the stupidest thing I could do. Oh, there's a doji. I did not mean to run over and execute. Okay. Good to know you guys are in here. A Venomoth? Okay. Nothing new. Really. Dodios. That's, um, Chansey. Okay, those things are great for experience. That's a Rhydon. I love Rhydons. They're great. Sorry, I'm... I know they probably now... Oh, a Meltane. Cool. A Metan. I love Metagross in um, my Alpha Sapphire playthrough. I can, I'm going to plug that thing. It was one of my favorite walkthroughs in a while. I really want when I get to 15, I want to do celebrate uh, top 10 games I played. But I was one of my favorite Pokemon games. It was a good one. I love the Delta episode. Nice ball. I'm just kind of also exploring to see what Pokemon here. It's like crashing. Like, like really crashing. I didn't experience a bunch of glitches when I first played it. But I'm experiencing a lot of crashes here. There's this feather. There's the the vulture thing. It's gonna be a while to capture that thing. Then that. Sorry, I'm exploring a lot because I want to try and maybe find a Squirtle. Squirtle would be my actually my ideal 
Oh, there's the uh, Pokemon that evolves into Flygon. Looking forward to that. Flygon's in here. It's an underappreciated Dragon Pokemon. I tried doing that in my Sapphire emulator walkthrough, but that game ultimately failed. A lot of my emulator games failed because um, I couldn't cover. Whoa! Did not mean to run into you. I deeply, deeply apologize. I'm going to, again, quickly explore. Um, not a whole lot. Um, but my main goal is I'm searching for a Squirtle right now. I swear it's going to be in the water or ice area, but I'm just also exploring to see what other Pokemon may be around. Um, oh, that's a horse. Um, not a horsey, a Seedra, a dragon type one. Okay. There's a Magmar. That Pokemon has the ultimate concern for um, evolving. That requires a dragon scale in the initial one. Hello, Geodude. I wonder if there's um, a Lolan Forms. I'd be very curious to see if there was. Oh, this is actually an alone form DD because it has the spikes on its head. A oh, flows down. There's a saws bug and a tire row down there. Sorry, again, I'm just exploring. There's a Seedra just hanging out above the ocean. Hello, Tyro. And um, again, I'm not going to explore a whole lot. I, I know I'm in the wrong location for a Squirtle. But I, I know they said they're going to add all the star Pokemon. Again, and I really do want to Squirtle. I thought that was a Pokemon for a minute. I do apologize. Um, let's load the map actually because I want to see. Ooh, okay. Um, actually, I'm gonna set this as my position point, like the center of there, because that just seems like where ice. Uh, not necessarily ice type Pokemon, but definitely water Pokemon would be. Um, I did not mean to interrupt you. Um, I forgot what your name is. I'm sorry about that. It is a um, Sis Shag Scraggy. I actually need to put a Pokemon I need to level up in the role. I'm going to put Godzilla up there. I know it's like, Godzilla's level 36. He doesn't really need leveling it up. I felt like he did. I like Braxit. Uh, oh, Sazbuck there. I not want to battle a Sazbuck, even though a oh, Sazbuck would be great. Grass type Pokemon. If they remake you know that I'm so putting the on my team, but that's just because I use Embor. Like Embor is my go-to uh, star Pokemon. Actually, I might want to try something different, but I did um I um Horsey. I don't hate Horsey. Horsey's underappreciated. I tried to make a team for my mom was that had Horsey on it. Um but it didn't work as much as I want. Hello, Electric Geo. It's kinda I see Electric Geo do there. I'm sorry, it's like, get to the points. Like, I know I should. But I get I get distracted a lot in this, especially in this Pokemon game. I get distracted more in this than I ever did in Breath of the Wild. I thought Breath of the Wild was, oh, I did not mean to run to you. It was kind of boring at times. In this one, I, you get at least hit to capture the things you find, so. It's a bit more incentive. Also, this game's shiny thing. I still hope hasn't been fixed. That would be horrible, because I've been able to find the most amount of shinies grinding in this game. I'm so happy about that. I'm just like, cool. Um, I like this little cube tower. That's interesting. Just to keep them separate. We'll keep the biome separate. Try this. The grass terraria. Cool. And then we'll head over to the ice area. I'm not going to say long hunt hunting for uh, our water type. Oh, Solicis. Okay, interesting. For a squirtle. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the time now and realize I broke my promise. I meant to time. Hello, you evolved your friendship, so you're a bit concerning. There's a Duong there. Cool. Melcreamy. I never really use Melcreamy. I'm not going to lie about that. There's a little horsey there. I, I want to explore more of the areas. Um, sorry, I'm going to see if there's a terror raid going on there. Oh, this is where you get the... Um, ooh. Ooh, ooh, this is a grand open area. I'm going to set... I'm going to target that as my... I know that's a horrible, horrible idea. I feel like this is very late game stuff. Like, this is where a legendary Pokemon would hide. But I'm so tempted in. I know I should have made a Pylos one. It's never my team. Terrarium. Oh, th there's the X-Drill. Tiny little thing. I'm not going to battle you yet. I'm just, again, looking around. As soon as we're done with by searching around. It's going to be a while. I'm not going to lie about that. Or deceive you about that. Like, I'm... I generally like this area. There's so much to explore, but I want to see if I can find water Pokemon. Especially water starter. There's a bear tick there. Cool. What are you? Oh, you're Solasis. Sorry. I 
I am really am sorry. Um, I want to see what that terror ray is, is, in all honesty. What are you? You're a shield on. Okay. Cool. Shield on's in this game. At least I don't gotta be digging for you. So, wait and do that Spirit Tomb video. Um, I really do want to do Spirit Tomb uh, Brilliant Diamond video, but I can't for the time being because it requires a lot of work to find the um, old totem. Hello, hello. You have to steal like a hundred bases. I'm very much looking for um, starter Pokemon. Or they not showed up yet. I'd be very disappointed. Uh, okay, flowing. Luminous. Pokemon I actually have no opinions on. And it feels odd. It's like, of all the Pokemon, those are like the borderline. I have no opinions on these Pokemon. I do on Luminous. I n again, I'm open to acknowledging those are weird comments to make, but it's just honestly how I feel. Um, uh, there's some really high level Pokemon in this one second, I'm not gonna lie. Never melt ice, okay. Like, this could be a great way to just get Pokemon for your playthrough. Uh, if you guys ever play the game from the get go, just start with the DLC. Good way just increasing your team. Hello, Finian. I don't know if you have to beat the game to do the DLC. DLC. That's a Lapras and a Porygon. Ooh. I got really distracted by the fact that there's a uh, Lapras there. Everyone wants to catch it. Chimeco. Oh, I love that Pokemon. Again, I'm just browsing. And I'm going to quickly go to the beach area. Hopefully. It's an excellent water type Pokemon there. But it is the coastal biome where we're supposed to have a class. So it's on top. It's not like I'm going completely off. Hello, Finian. You can be found anywhere, I guess. You would know. Oh, Inkay. I'm curious how you evolve that in this game. A water stone. Ooh, that's nice. Like Galarian Slowpoke. Cool. I love Galarian Slowpokes. They're really cool. Got me really excited for the Pokemon DLC in Scarlet and Violet. Which, not Scarlet and Violet. Sword and Shield. It feels like a pipe dream. <laughs> I wish they did add more um, Paldean forms of Pokemon here. But there's rumors they're going to add more Paradox Pokemon. Like, someone found in a cheat code that we're going to get a new Entei and... Tyrion to complete the trio, which I don't think is going to be horrible. It's just going to ruin Wonder Trades. Wonder Trades are actually going to be interesting this, um, with that, I guess. But yeah, let's move on with the story again. Oh, the Cotton thing. Um, interesting Pokemon. I don't know if they remake... Um, sorry, I thought there was something in the sky. Oh, that is... <laughs> there's a Deerling. Okay. Um, that was actually Gil um, Galarian ex Alolan Executor. Hi, CJ. I'm sorry. I still have a built in my mouth. I'm just like decided to come out and be like, we'll toss him over. I'm like, dang it. Uh, oh, um, pick, uh, Toucan is pre evolution. I love Toucan. I love just the basic, um, when they can, the basic flying type Pokemon because they're always interesting. The Pokemon I feel like you'd normally have to get, like, if I if they do re remake, you know, which is the rumor. Oh, hi, hello, and Muck. Zangoose. Okay. Um, I would totally probably try new Pokemon. Oh, sorry, I get really distracted. Brr, which way to the battlefield? Oh, it's right over there. Okay. So we're going to set that as our destination. Just try to hop on over there. I do apologize for getting distracted. It's just like, I generally love this. I think this is a good Pokemon game. I don't care what people say. Um, I, I do think it was a step in the right direction. I didn't hate Sword and Shield. I really didn't. As much as there are people, like, um, for me, oh, that's the, oh, I was like, is that the sand Pokemon? I was like, no, that's the, um, weird, um, the trio. I, th I hate Sun and Moon more than I hated, um, um, Sword and Shield because it's a boring prologue. That's a good story. It's just the beginning is just really slow, very holding your hand-ish. Oh, you're an Oddish. Ooh, I love Oddishes. Um, you're a cotton thing. I thought you were a Flappy for some reason. Slack Ops? Cool. I don't hate Slack Ops. The Ops are freaking weird. Like, crazy weird. But yeah, there was recently a thing, because they are shutting down the, um, 3DS store. You can't, uh, 3DS Pokebank, that you can't bring Gen 5 Pokemon over anymore. So a lot of people are upset about it. I really do think the, um, remake is going to solve that problem. I'm going to see what that terror rate is. If it's Pokemon, like, whoa, whoa, you? Oh, you're that dancing Pokemon, or Richio. You were in the previous region. What are oh, it's a Steel Gloom. Okay. 
I'm going to quickly grab that. Oh, yeah, Brock did get that Pokemon in the anime, I've been told. But let's head on to the class about time, because we are very, very late to the class. Brr, let's get to it. Oh, Indigo. I'm going to kill you. You didn't have any trouble finding twice. He's fine. I should just whisper to whisper. I'm so glad he hit. Aloha, everyone. Shall we get started? Looks like we have a new phase here with us today. I'm sure you're all enjoying the topical climb we've re reached here at the coastal coastal biome. But remember, it's really oh, it's really for many Pokemon you'll find living here adapted for such weather. One such species that grows especially larger than in my Venom regions, thanks to all the light that's been exposed here. That's right, certain species of Pokemon can have completely different appearances depending on the region. We call that variation regional forms. No. And that brings us to the task to today. Each of you would like to catch one of these Pokemon, especially from an alone. Oh, I'd like for you to catch one um, especially Pokemon from an alone po Pokemon. We've, um, we've got one. Come and report to me. Now get catching. Okay, I found a muck and like so many other ones, so they're not hard to find. Any of our classes here, the blue cat me, uh, blue cat, our practical ones like this. So go on off. Don't overthink it and just do your best on your first class. I didn't think it was too hard because I did find a lot of low in, um, forms. Hello, Bell Awesome. I actually want to capture it because that will save one evolution. But I'm not concerned because I found the Zangu, uh, not Zangu's, Executor. Execute all those 66. The Alolan form with a giant head. This isn't hard to find if you're in a beachy area. Um, sorry, you are Esper, sorry. You're just literally a slacking. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not ultimately concerned about it because they were really easy to find, especially in this area. Like, I was really happy as soon as I get away. I was like, as soon as I get away from this area. There's also, um,. Savannah biome? Okay, which Pokemon would be in a Savannah biome? Guess I'll find out, but I'm on the hunt for them. Oh, this is like a desert area. But there's also the Geodudes and the, um... I wonder if the, there's a Lone Raichu in this. That'd be a good question. Oh, sorry, I, I know it's like a weird tangent. Oh, Smurgle, cool. Um... So that's my thought process. Like, there would have to be an Alolan Raichu. I did not mean to run into the deer. So I was like, I got really distracted. I do apologize. We're going to run. I'm going to use the quick ball that we just got to try and capture the next Pokemon. Definitely the um, Alolan Pokemon. But I understand uh, that the Pokemon adapt, even though it's from different areas. Oh, sorry, I did not mean to go to that clip. Oh, almost ran over that deer. Would not have been good. Um, okay. Oh. That's interesting. That's actually some interesting last Kingdra's. Oh. We maybe want to come back here and do that Kingdra thing. And I was like, why didn't you do it already? He's like, oh, because I'm focused on the story right now. Trap inches, cool. I'm gonna try and get a Geo dude. I know there was some alone in Geo dudes here in the canyon. There's one right there. It literally oh I could have gotten the Golder. I'm a bit concerned about the Golem. But I know that this is a Alolan Geodude. Because it's electric and ground and rock, which is an issue typing. It has really good strategy, too, based on my scene where uh, a lot of people send in their water types to deal with it. But anyway. I don't know if I need to have it on the team. But I did capture this Geodude. I wonder if it counts it as a new Geodude. It does. Interesting, because it's an Alolan. That sauce bug is just chilling by the tree. Okay, gotta head back to the class. Because there we did get it. I can just fly there, cool. Um. No, I can just. Oh, uh, well, same death. I'll just fly there, because I can just also see if there's any wild Pokemon. Like, again, some Water Star, starting with the Ertle. I thought Skarmory is that right there. But anyway, I know Lacey's secret. Oh, okay. And part of me wants to really know it. Um, Tentacruels, okay. Sorry, again, I'm just really proud. I got really distracted, but I do want to try and capture a Squirtle. Pick Peak Feather, okay. 
I head probably in the opposite direction where I was supposed to be going. Right? Oh, it's right there. Boom. So I'll just set the steel terrarium. Um, terrarium, is it? Hello, muck. I could have found the muck, caught the muck. That would have counted too. Bio plume. Um, I'm gonna take that. The ultra bowl. You know, Alola means hello and goodbye. I, I find. I don't know. If there would be. Because uh, you know it was intended to be a remake, a, a restart of Pokemon. For those who don't know, part of me wants to go in the cave. I'm gonna go in the cave. I talk myself into it. A lot of daylights. Um, let me clean that rare candy. Yeah, this would definitely help for getting a um, Lolan dig Diglett as your Pokemon, but we're gonna go with a Lolan um, Geodude. As ours. My curiosity has peaked on what the terror rate is for the Steel Bear, so let me go quickly check that out, because I'm more. As if it's the Seedra, and you're like, oh, we've been here before. I still hope it's the Seedra. It's the Gloom. Okay, I forgot about the Gloom. But I was more impressed with the Seedra. But yeah, we did get the Galarian, uh, Lolan. It's a Geodude. Do you manage to catch a Lolan form of a Pokemon for me? Yes. It is a Geodude. Um, so, so you know. That's one right there. You got it without a doubt. You got yourself in a Lolan Geodude. I don't know why they sound like, um, oh, Pride Owl Hunter. It's body is exactly a magnetic stone, iron, sand, it's sucking its bits and have especially strong magnetism. Wait, Inigo, you already finished your assignment? Um, I was really motivated. So, bashling isn't your only talent. When you've got a knack for catching Pokemon, too. It's easy to see how high how high level the students must be at the U of Academy. Alright, anyone? Everyone gather around. Today we're going to do more teaching stuff. We've all come here to... We've all, we're all here for for some oh, for some time today. But you all have to be uh, people at this class session. If you manage to catch a Pokemon on time, you'll that'll be your homework to complete before our next session. Class dismiss. Man, really? I'm stuck with homework. Mm, it's your work. So in you go. What do you think of your first blueberry class? It was fun. I'm gonna go with that because <laughs> it was kind of it's fun. Really, it makes me so happy to hear that. Oh, I suppose you gotta make an appearance at the club room. I've gotta make an appearance at the cl club room. Shoot! I wanna meet the Elite Four, I really do. I'm afraid this will have to be the end of our little tour, but uh, but let me leave you with one more tip. Here at the Blueberry Academy, we have a lot of extracurricular attacks you can call Blueberry Quest, or just BBQs for short. That's pretty funny. There are all sorts of missions, like missions that school assigns students to do out in the terrarium. You might be asked, uh, to have your Pokemon do some auto battles to catch specific Pokemon. All sorts of things. You never know what your next BBQ might be or where you'll carry it out. But if you um, but if you can do what's asked of you, you're in Blueberry Points. It's called BP. BP is kind of a cool currency used in the cafeteria or the school store. Might be able to use it for club activities in the future, too. Anyway, the long and the short of it is that you should use the BBQs to get yourself barbecue points. I'm kidding, of course, but BBQs are special quests to quest students are I sure care like pursuits in the blue academy. You complete the quest, since you're on phone, you receive blue ray point. You can check the point for a button. Uh, max three quests will display by default. Each time you complete a quest, a new one will be added. It takes place. Every time you clear ten quests, a special bonus quest will be unlocked. Ooh, obvious. We should totally do this. You can also protect you with friends. Okay, good to know. So I guess we'll have to do that at the moment down the time. Um, oh, okay, air clubs. And that's it from me. Sorry for having to dash, but I must be off to now enjoy your time at the Blueberry Academy. So there's 10 quests. I don't know if we'll see that for a separate video or if we're just going to continue on with the main story. But yeah. Oh, Blitzel. Cool. Well, um, hey, is this in a good phone, right? It's me, Kami. I heard the news. You got picked for the Blueberry Academy's exchange program, right? Yeah. Whoa. One of my teachers told me. Never thought we'd... we'd uh, be fellow students at the BB Academy. Anyway, you should totally come and show your face. It's been too long already. Now let me think. Where can we meet up? Oh, have you been to the terrarium? There's a specific there's a space called the Central Plaza right in the center of the dome. I'll meet you there. No, keep me waiting if you know it's good for you. Okay, but there's a Blitzel there. Cool electric type Pokemon. Um, let's see where that's on the map. 
Oh, me, where are they? Literally in the center. Okay, I want to get there, like actually climb, because I want to s hopefully, 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 there's new Pokemon of the nighttime area. What did I run into? It's oh, Esper. Esper's really small in comparison to this massive colossal thing. But I'm curious to see what uh, Carmen has to say. Like something probably about Kieran, probably. I uh, wouldn't surprise me. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say, did we run into? There's a picnic there. I don't know if we'll put that. Sorry, that's an Esper. Different color for Esper, but it's an Esper. A lot of items on the beach, which I do love getting. Wee. Can we climb up the bricks? That's going to be the million dollar question. It doesn't appear that we can. Interesting. But we can just jump over them, like so, and glide on top of it. Cool. So we got to head to the center of it. Um, where are you? Oh, you're that dung thing. That would actually be really helpful to catch, because I don't have to evolve that Pokemon. Oh, Pyroar. Cool. A uh, female Pyroar. I love that Pokemon. Great idea in the um, Galar Pokedex. Galar had... Uh, not Galar. Um, mm, mm, Kalos. Kalos has a great Pokemon. If any Pokemon games... Oh, I see those things up on the wall. Sorry, if any Pokemon reading gets remade again, I, Kalos, I hope Kalos gets in there time to shine. Underappreciated. But I think it'll definitely be if... Um, if... Um, what's the name I'm looking for? Um, oh... Unova gets remade, because Unova is rumored to get remade. Hi, Carmi. What's going on here? Tell me more, tell me more. I don't know what I'm going with that. Because you. Oh, yeah. There's a b uh, things are a bit rough right now. Couldn't agree more. If a visit to Kami. I already heard her voice. I don't know why. Long time no see, Nico. Bet you missed me, huh? Sure. Let's go with that. <laughs> Honesty is the best policy, huh? You're late. Time to go. Nice seeing you, Kami. So long. Okay, bit distance and cold, but okay. Uh, yeah, see you around. Okay. Uh, that was my classmate. She's an interesting one. Like, very, very odd, but interesting. Um, um speaking of classmates, I feel it's kind of weird seeing you here in my school. And look at you, you haven't changed at all since we last met. As for me, well, I'm helping Mrs. Bride with the research. W uh, we've been all uh, all to all sorts of different reasons. Good to know, good to know. Well, it's my Pokemon are stronger than they were last time we battled. Hey, you want to see? You totally want to see, right? Well, then, well, well, we have a big court right here, so let's get get in position. Okay, I'm more than happy to battle you, Carmi. Um... I'm curious to see what new Pokemon you have, because you, you, I don't remember what you had on top of my head. I feel bad now. <laughs> okay, you ready for a dull, dull battle? You won't, won't know what hit you. I wonder what Kieran's going to be up to. I'm really nervous about him. But anyway, let's get to the battle. You were challenged by Pokemon Trainer Carmi. Okay. Oh, so she has the Toucan this time. Cool. Um... And no problem going on my I'll give you a special treat uh, since you came all this way. Get ready for a Terratarium ter 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 Dirt. Got not intimidated for the Mayana. I, really did. I did have Mayana all the way back then, so I don't know why I'm ultimately surprised. But, yeah. I am going to have to bring in Whoops. Not Whoops. <laughs> why can I not remember your name? Nicola. Because Nicola is going to do well against the uh, Ducanon. Underappreciated fine type Pokemon. I don't know why I had to die ball with it, but okay. Oh, I deal with the Mayana, no problem. Like, oh, it didn't destroy it. Interesting. Super fun. Oh, wow, that really did hurt Nikola. Flame charge. Oh, that would totally hurt Godzilla. But its attack grows. That's actually a cool ability. Didn't know it had it before. Nice to know. I'm going to use Label Crush on Mayana, and I want to do... Mm, I think I want to use Discharge. Yeah, I want to use Discharge. It will affect all of them. Okay. So it doesn't hurt to try. Oh, wow, that took down my Diana. Did not expect that. But it didn't. Oh, we paralyzed our own teammate. I feel so bad now. I'm surprised my Diana fell. Hey, stop that. Why don't you use one of those not effective moves or something? That's pretty good. I don't lie. That's a good line. 
Uh, to can use flame charge, but again, we have stat where it's gonna increase our terminal exchange. I don't know how many more Pokemon she has on top of my head. Godzilla got paralyzed. Okay, so we couldn't even take care of Ken after shooting. Scrappy. Okay. Scrappy is mm, a fine type. A lot of your Pokemon know Intimidate, which is not helpful for us. But I'm gonna have to use Dragon Ball. I've just tried the two cannon. Uh, I'll use Pluck on Scrappy. Scrappy is weak to flying type. Super effective. Oh wow, I was like, I thought you were gonna downright destroy Godzilla there. Okay, flame charge on Nikola. I could use Roost next turn, but I don't know if I should. Well, with that two cannons taken down, which is great. I didn't mean Nika. That's not a Fruit Loose reference. That's a Tony Tiger reference. Uh, Sinistra. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Sinistra. Um, oh, cool move. Hospitality. Didn't know it had that ability. Interesting. Um, let's do. Let's pop. Well, let's use Ice Beam against Sinistra. And, um, I guess we'll have to use Pluck on Scrappy. That's it. I'm ready to go all out. <laughs> Time for me to tear it up. Oh, Carmi, you've really grown. We're going to rest off because I had to guess it's Sinistra. Okay, it was Sinistra. Good. I was right. I was where I'd be like deeply wrong. Into a grass type. Oh, you don't know how much power that gives me. Oh, who did he destroy? Oh, it's using hats. This can't go well, but defeat Godzilla, but you'll be cursed. Cursed, I say. Oh, Ice Punch. Oh, uh, Nicholas has gone too. I, there's no way you're saying this, but it just, if it knows that moves, we're doomed. So Ice Punch is an overpowered um, fight type move. Anything with Ice type will be destroyed. I'm actually going to bring in Skeldridge. I don't really care. And um, I'll bring in Minerva. Two different choices, I know. But it will work. Let's go Skelters. Skelters can destroy um, the. Um, oh, Sinus Chow. No problem with that. I'm going to use Torch Song on that. And I'm going to use. Oh. Let's use it on both of them because it'll both of them will be hit by um, guys in the game. So yeah, I took care of the Scrappy, which is great. I think Scrappy is dark and fighting. I know that. And then Torch Song, which will definitely annihilate you. If you're double grass, you'll be double weak. So you are no Titan. Hey, that's Sinistra. The Okabara was needed, okay, but it's still fainted, so I don't know really what that did. Take that Sinistra. Okay, we just be Trainer Carmi. Woohoo! Huh? Hmm. That's not go the way planned. Okay, but we did get uh, 1,600 Pokemon dollars, so I'll take that. <sighs> I got so much stronger once I could terrestrialize my Pokemon, but you had to just go ahead and use get even stronger, didn't you? Why did I? You still didn't hold back in your battles. I know this thing ha hasn't changed a bit. I guess she's just peeved about that for some reason. Hey, by the way, have you um ran to Kiki yet? No, I haven't. Did something happen? Because he's been really mad at us recently. Oh, never mind. If you haven't seen him yet, it's fine. Are you kidding me? What? Was this assignment too hard for you? Wait, that's... Kieran, wow. Nice haircut. He looks all punk-like, but it looks cool on you. I knew it. It's Kieran. Phew, he almost saw us. Wait, that's Kieran? I should have said he looks totally different. Is that because you can call him the pocket? I'll be like, shh, keep your voice down. I thought, I, I thought I told you you have to train five Pokemon to bow with. S sorry, things have been really hectic at home this month. Oh, got it. So that means it's just okay being this week forever? Is that what I'm hearing? N no, I... Well, since you're so busy, I'll go ahead and do you a favor. I'll write your resignation for the, the club for you. Oh, so he's kind of become the villain team. Interesting. I don't need people in my club who won't take it seriously. Ooh. Wait, Kieran, I'm sorry. Give me another chance. I'm trying to give him that blockhead energy. <laughs> don't know why. Now, not what you're expecting, right? Kiki looks different. Acts different. He 
hasn't been the same since we got back from the school trip. Oh, cool jacket. Well, that was painful to watch. I really do like it. Irk? I would love his name is Irk. That is a really cool jacket. Well, if it isn't Carmi, and Carmi's new mystery friend. I think I might have heard of you, though. Are you the new kid with the wild backstory? I love that jacket. <laughs> what a lovely surprise. Just the amazing bozo I didn't want to run into. Okay, come on. At least introduce me. If I had to guess you're one of the Elite Four, this is Drayton. And he's the worst. He's a cool jacket. He's the strongest trainer at Blueberry Academy. Well, he was at least. Beautiful intro. Thanks. Let me give him that voice. This is Nico. He's on a foreign ex Oh, this is Carney talking, not Drayton. Sorry. This is Indigo. He's on a foreign exchange program. He's my friend. And what about Kieran? You friends with the guy? Um, yeah, we're friends. When you're like, no. Nah. Oh, I see. That's great. All right, Indigo. How about I show you to your to our club room? Oh, cool. I'd actually like to. Huh? Why do you need to do that? If you haven't joined any of the clubs we've got here, right? You'll take it from me. You'll have a way better time here if you join one. We'd love to have such an interesting new member. In fact, we better call dibs now. Okay, this is like some weird, like, high school click stuff, isn't it? Come with me. This isn't going to go ominously at all. You join the club. Hey, hold on. Uh, see? I told you he was the worst. Look at him. Just assuming we'll go along with whatever. I'm going with you. Okay, time to see what the clubs are like. Nice transition. <laughs>